Hi there, and welcome to this short introduction about a tool we've updated recently, the MIDI Audio Synchronizer Tox. The first release of this Tox was already three years ago, and it managed for quite a while, but I got some comments recently about bugs, and it wasn't quite working as I expected it to be. So I decided to give it a bit more attention, and while debugging, I decided to add another feature which supports multiple channels. It gave the interface a different look, and I decided to separate the playback from the timeline. So it's a standalone tox. So in this tox you have your regular playback items. Obviously play, stop, replay, pause, play again, mute, stop. If you feel like that the MIDI is slightly off, there is this offset rotary button where you can offset the MIDI playback in frames. If you think that this minus 10 plus 10 range is too little, you can always change it to something different, like this, minus 15, reset it to zero again. This particular MIDI file has one channel, so I'm going to show you how it works with a multiple channel MIDI file. I'm going to delete the stocks, I have it in the palette, so I'll just drag it in. Close the palette. It's quite self-explanatory. If you put this tox into active mode, you have these two fields where you can load in the files. The rest is grayed out, so there's a certain sequence you have to follow to operate this tox. First, I have to look for the MIDI file and then the audio file. As soon as you've loaded both files, this run button lights up. It means that you can press this. Depending on the amount of tracks and the amount of channels of the file, it may take a while. When everything is loaded in, this section lights up. And if you hit play, the MIDI and the audio file will play back in sync. I'm going to mute it for now. If you attach a null to this tox, you can see that all the channels and all nodes are laid out in one component. Depending on the MIDI file, the amount of channels and the amount of nodes, this can get a bit overwhelming. If you go inside the tox, there is this output container. If you go inside, you see that all these channels are separated over different nulls. So if there is one particular channel you would like to isolate, you can just grab it from here. So if you go up here and you grab a select job, and you want, for instance, only the first channel, MIDI audio sinker slash output slash channel, I believe it was underscore one. And now you've isolated only the first channel. And obviously, if you like to isolate a different channel, just copy this one. This is to zero, for instance. Channel two. Channel three. Four. Five. You see that everything holds in sync. So this is how it works. It's a free tox available at our Patreon. While you're there, you can have a look at other tools we've been developing. There's quite a lot of there. Please consider supporting us. It will help us a lot to maintain these tools, develop other tools. It basically buys us time. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date. And we'll catch up next time.